Okay, these are those tamarack posts that I was telling you about that are 16 feet long. Well, they are uh, only flat on two sides. I'll show you on this side. They came from the mill that way. And they still have bark on one side. So I'm going to use my mini mill, a Granberg mini mill, and make them a true six by six. We're taking a log that looks like that, and it's 16 feet long. Here you can see the guide from my Granberg Mini Mill on there. And then we're going to take and make it look like this. Six by six by 16 feet long. Hey guys, um, I was just gonna show you how I set up this, uh, this is a Granberg mini mill, uh, and how it goes up on my chainsaw. And uh, I'm gonna then take and set up this uh, two by six, and I have V-track on, on the uh, two by six that I've screwed in already. And I'm just gonna show you how I set that up to cut um, right I'm looking at cutting two by or uh, six by sixes out of this this is a uh, cut on two sides uh, already it came from the mill that way um, we had extras left over so uh, I'm going to uh, so it's six inches thick I'm gonna cut a six inch wide piece on this cut off all the wane on this and uh, so I can use this in my project that I'm working on uh, let me get my wrench and I'll put this on and show you how it's done. Uh, this right here is the Granberg Mini Mill. It's going to go on my saw and then uh, it's going to sit on this V track just like this. And then I'm going to push my saw down the V track like that and it's going to cut off all the wane on the opposite side of this log. Uh, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set up my saw into this uh, yeah, mini mill. Slide this on and it's going to slide down here. I want to make sure that I have enough room so if I want to stop my chain I have, I have the ability to do so. So if I get that too close I won't be able to do that. So make sure this balance is right here. On the back side right here, I'm going to just turn this around so you can see it. There are two half inch uh, head bolts that go through and, and that secure this to the bar itself. So several precautions that you want to make sure is that you don't uh, have your chain hitting anywhere. There's two roll, there's a roller here and a roller here and you want to have this set right in between there. Right now I have this just finger tight in order to facilitate getting it on and off. See if I get this correct. Yeah, got it right the first time. So I don't want to get it real tight right at the moment because I'm going to adjust how this fits in here. Okay. I got this uh, sit on here, and it's just just really tight in there. And I'm just going to set this up so you see how it would go and sit in this V-track. Right now the log's kind of holding it out. But uh, what you want to do is have the orientation of this bar just towards you just a little bit. So I'm going to move this. Let's see if I get that. Loosen that up just a little bit. orient it ever so slightly towards me. This is what I got out of the instructions. Granberg. And the folks down at Granberg are just great. They uh, 
I was talking with Ben the other day. I had an initial setup error on my part. I didn't follow the instructions as well as I should. And uh, and I called Ben up and I said, hey Ben, I'm having a, a problem with this. And that he, Ben was just really helpful and didn't make me feel like an idiot either for doing it wrong. So that's why I'm bringing this log out because I I wanted to at least show you how I you know milled these logs. Um, I have the other 16 foot logs already cut to six by six, even though I did it incorrectly. They turned out okay even with the miller where it was. Um, I was pulling instead of pushing. So yeah, I'm fessing up to my error, but uh, I want to make sure that you, what I put out on YouTube is uh, the correct way as much as possible. Um, we're all gonna make some mistakes. And so uh, it's just important for, if you're planning on doing something like this, to you know, get out there and study as much as you can and then try to, uh, you know, uh, a friend of mine yesterday, uh, we were, I was working with this horse and, and uh, I'm very comfortable with horses and uh, he's not so much. And, uh, but Brian would get out in there and watch a YouTube video, go out and practice. Watch a YouTube video, get out and practice. And so. Uh, I recommend the same thing and uh, use some common sense. You know, if it doesn't look like it's working right, go back and, and read the instructions and make sure that you uh, keep safety in mind. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to get my saw started up uh, and warmed up uh, off camera. And I already have this secured on the way I would like it. Um, and then we'll start working on this log and get this cut down to a 6x6. Six six. Here we go. see I didn't have a lot to take off but uh, it indeed worked really really well now this is with crosscut chain and uh, with ripping chain it would even be smoother than this I'm very very pleased I'm glad I called uh, Granberg and talked with Ben again so I got myself going on the right track and here's the v-track you can see it just has two screws on each end they're two foot long and when you buy the mini mill it comes with 12 feet of it and uh, i am finding that with a two by six 
I can just take and slide this 2x6 down. I just line it up with where my previous cut is right there. So I'll give myself a couple feet and I can line myself up fairly well and keep a straight line. Or if I have a longer log, then what I can actually do is just smooth off the top, lay my 2x6 down, and then I can just extend the 2x6 down and cut a longer beam if I um, so desire. So again, even though I'm just cutting off a little bit of the wane, it looks pretty good.